All right, uh, no vlog today. This is just an update because a bunch of you have been asking where are the vlog dogs, haven't seen them in a while. I've got some bad news. It's not tragic. It's extremely upsetting for me, but it's not tragic. We had to give Barney away uh, because of serious behavioral problems that were fundamentally incompatible with the house with three kids, two of whom are very young. We were fortunate enough that the breeder uh, took him back, has a trainer that's gonna work with him, rehabilitate him and rehome him in an appropriate home. And I've been reluctant to make this video just to let you all know for two diametrically opposing reasons. Uh, the first one is I don't want pity and I don't want pity points uh, and I don't want it to look like that's what this is about at all. Uh, but the flip side is I think I do owe everybody not an explanation, just an update because it's you're gonna notice it and I don't wanna look like I'm hiding it to avoid or shield myself from criticism. And I'm not afraid of the criticism. I have no doubt I'm gonna get criticism, uh, but I am my own harshest critic and there's nobody who's more disappointed with myself in terms of my inability to make the dog family compatible than myself. It's nobody who feels that they've let Barney down more than, than me. Um, so just go back to the beginning. For those of you who have been around the channel long enough, we used to have a dog named Babu who got the nickname Babu the Blind Pug because we adopted him in adulthood. He had some serious eye condition and went blind over the course of a month and for the last two years of his life, totally blind, bumping into walls. He used to walk around the house like by finding the, the perimeter with the wall. Um, and when he passed away, we wanted to adopt another dog. Except by that point, we had three kids, one of whom was a newborn, and there wasn't a dog adoption agency in Montreal that would let us adopt a dog for obvious liability reasons. We actually looked uh, out, of, out of province, out of country. Nobody would allow a family with a three month old at the time to adopt a dog. And so we went and we got Barney from a breeder and he was, uh, I don't want to get upset, he was the most beautiful dog in the world. Beautiful. I mean, beautiful physically. I love those dogs' face. I know people you know, don't necessarily agree with breeding French Bulldogs, but I love the dog's face. I loved everything about him. And he was the best dog in the world. And what ended up happening at some point is these little bastard dogs from across the street, one in particular, attacked Barney multiple times. On several occasions, the dog would be on the street without a leash. A much bigger dog, uh, looked like a husky, and it attacked Barney multiple times. On Over an extended period of time, I had to actually call the cops, um, and Barney became traumatized uh, from the attacks, and you know, then he first hated all dogs that looked like that dog and would react aggressively with them, then it was all big dogs, then it was all dogs, and then it was reacting to certain circumstances where he felt uh, in danger or, or, or vulnerable. And he would snap, growl, he would get into a mode where we would have to avoid him. And if I were the only person living in the house, I could have dealt with it and I could have dealt with the risks. Um, you know, over the course of two years, because this has been going on for a while, he bit me, uh, he bit my mother-in-law, although I'm sure she did something to deserve it, but he would snap at the kids, you know, and, and his behavior was unpredictable. The kids would be patting him, and then he would turn around and snap, and the kids would be upset because they loved him and they just wanted him to love them, and it was, it was, it was an untenable, well, not an untenable, rather, it was, a, it was a situation that couldn't go on. And we took him to a trainer, a trainer who, uh, use some methods that I don't necessarily think were the best methods to use on a fundamentally nervous dog. We ended up putting him on Prozac and things just came to a head where, you know, my, my kids would have friends over and the dog would be snarling and I'd have to put him on a leash. And we did everything we could to avoid having to put him to sleep, which I think would have been unjustifiable, but we couldn't go on anymore. And, and it's a, first of all, it's a weird thing. Um, it's a weird thing to give up something you love uh, because you, I feel like I've let the dog down in terms of what I was expected to do with him and, and give him a home and uh, I feel like I let him down. I know where he is now and I, I don't want to see him because it's like it sort of hurts my heart. It's like in, in a weird way it's like looking at an ex with a new a new spouse or something um, and it hurts you and you get all those feelings and you remember the way he smells and you remember the way he, he purrs when he sleeps on your bed. Um, and so that was it, you know, we, we tried to give him away, oh my goodness, and these people came to adopt him, to potentially look to rehouse him because they didn't have kids. And during the meeting, which was on the street, he sees that little bastard dog from across the street, snarls at the dog, and then the, 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 the couple that was looking to adopt him tug on the leash and he turns around and <laughs> starts snapping their ankles. And I don't mean like biting. And then it was like clear that this was, it was beyond the pale. Um, so that's it. Uh, we were lucky the breeder took him back and is going to be able to retrain him. 
and I could have retrained him. It's just that, you know, once the dog is unreliable with kids, it's, it's not a risk that you can handle. I know there's going to be people out there who are going to say that it's, you know, I, I've given up and I've given up on what I owed to the dog. Others are going to say you shouldn't have even put up with this situation for two years. It was risky for the kids. It was always under control, but it, it, it came to a point where the kids were scared of the dog. The wife was scared of the dog. Guests were scared of the dog and you don't want to bring kids up to be scared of an unpredictable dog, even if I could deal with it and deal with those risks. So we found him he's with a trainer. Trainer says he's doing very well. They're gonna be able to rehome him, just not with kids. Um, it hurts my heart to think about it. Um, at one point in our lives, we had to put a dog down because of aggression and it was a big bull mastiff. Like I grew up with bull mastiffs and this bull mastiff, I, I wanna, it was crazy. He was a crazy dog. He would bust out of the house and attack the first dog he saw. He attacked, and I don't mean like snapped. He attacked one kid, then he attacked another. And that was the day we had to put him to sleep. Oddly enough, on the Boxing Day Tsunami 2005, and we're, you know, sobbing because we just put our dog to sleep, sobbing because of what's going on in the world. It was a very surreal, very surreal uh, thing to, you know, on the one hand, maximum tragedy in the world, and on the other hand, you're crying over a, a, a dog that you had to put to sleep. And so that's it. So that's the update with Barney. Um, I, I don't feel good about the situation. I don't think there's much more I could have done about it. Um, and we're dealing with the situation now one of the ways is we've distracted the kids by adopting a senior guinea pig uh, and giving him a home so at the very least we can feel that we're sort of not just contributing to a, a problem but rather resolving it by giving a guinea pig that uh, needed a home a home we're looking to adopt another dog uh, the older dogs tend to be better I, they, you know they tend to be grateful when they get adopted and we're looking to adopt another dog, but um, that's the situation. So you won't see Barney the vlog dog in my house. As much as it is upsetting for me, you won't see him in our house, but he, uh, he'll he find a new home and he'll find a happy home and we will uh, continue doing the best we can. So that's the update. Um, peace out.